So pretty much I come across people who ask the company and I see in the post, you know, why don't we take some features that are in publisher or photo and move it into designer because that's where we need it. I think the company has done well in giving us the extra personas and all that. It's going to be a bit of a nightmare if they decide to ultimately have one program that does everything. Then they're going to look like the Adobe packages that's got million and one menus that you can do just about everything, but it's all convoluted. It's all stuck into one program. I think we need to identify that each program is focused on certain areas. So, yes, you can edit stuff and put in an image and you want to text wrap around in designer. But if you look at publisher, it's designed to do that. So publisher will give you the ability to put an image in and the image dictates how the text will wrap around it. Now you go, okay, but why don't you just make that a menu button here? Problem is, is that people eventually are not going to use Publisher for its intended purpose and they're going to keep on using Affinity and then run into problems and then make a noise with the company again and say, bring that other feature across here. And that's going to be an eternal, um, you know, sort of journey that we're going to take down the road. So my recommendation is, unless it's totally like majorly important to have that feature moved across, then request it from the company. But generally, just go across to the other app. It's so quick. It's like clicking on here and saying open in photo and then it opens in no time. Or if you're working in publisher, you click the icon on top and the menus change. So it's it's totally seamless. I don't think we need to be shifting features in the entirety across. Having said that, I want to show you in designer, uh, in affinity designer, how we're able to wrap text around objects. But you've got to change the paradigm. In programs like Microsoft Word and, and Publisher, well, Publisher has both features to have things wrapped around an image and the way I'm going to show you now. But most of them is you drop an image and you say it's going to have a certain padding around it and the text will follow that. What we have to think about is creating a container that's going to contain the text that we can shape in any way, whether there's a round, a square, triangular object that we are going to wrap it around. Um, while I'm at this, the other point also I just want to highlight is this program is not meant to have a text box that wraps over into the next text box and so forth because we, we're not creating 30 pages. Publishers is designed for that. Here you want to have a box that has text in that you can manipulate. So let me show you uh, the example and get down to it. Um, if I click on poster, which is the artboard, and I change the color, this object has white here. It's not transparent. So the challenge is if I drop this in and there is a text box, the text would go around the square area. I know some programs, if you have transparency around on the edges, it would wrap into that area. It, it reads it as transparency. But generally, you are now stuck with text wrapping in a square, even if you want to have it curved here. That's why I think this method is still kind of the go-to one, rather superior for how uh, we need to work in designer. So how are we going to do that? There's different ways. I'm going to start off with the first one, which is just the pen tool. I'm going to draw a shape. Okay, so this shape can be that, any shape. I just must make sure I close it. Okay, this, this node here at the bottom was a bit of a circle one. I just want to change it to a sharp one so I can have all sharp edges. So say this was the box that I wanted the text to be in, but I wanted to curve nicely around here. So I'm going to just take these two and delete them. And then I use my normal editing node tool and I can push it over here, select that, and then I can move this node there. Okay, so I, oops. So I'm doing what I'd usually, oh boy. I'm usually doing what I usually do with normal shapes. Okay, what I'd suggest is when you create this curve, keep the, the colors off. Don't make it white or black or anything. Keep it transparent. Because um, in some cases, the shape might translate when you export it. Um, and if you want to know how to access it here in your menu, so if you click off it and you don't know where it is, just go to your menu and you click on the curve. I'm going to just say, this is my text box here, so that we know where it is if we want to select it. So this is how simple it is. Now, the text will form into this object. So it doesn't matter what the shape of this 
this SAB we put in here was square. We can make the text wrap here or we could make it square. It will fit into the shape that we want it to be. Okay, so how do I get the text in here? As simple as coming over to, there's different ways, but this is the easiest. Coming to the text, going to frame text tool. If I hover it here, you'll see it's got the normal text. So if I draw now, it will draw a square and the text box will be created. However, if I have a shape, all I do is I move over it and you'll see it changes into a different shape. If I move out of it, it changes to the square. So when I get over it, I just give one click and that's pretty much it. It's, there's a cursor that forms inside there. What I do now is if I right click, I can see insert filler text. I also have the ability to go to the text menu on top and get the same menu. So I'm going to say filler text. Okay. Um, it's now that color because we're on the default color. So how do I change this? I can just double click on it, select everything and maybe go to the black color. Okay. And click outside that. So there we have it. Now if I go and I want to change the shape, I can go to the node tool. Maybe I click here and just pull it here. So you see now why this is powerful is I can now shape the object and it can take the text into any area. So if I have a triangular object here now, I can move it to be around triangular shape also. Or even if this, for example, if I needed the text to come halfway over this logo, I could do that. So I can position it there because the shape I'm working in is dictating the actual text flow, not this object. However, if I was using this object, we would have had that, that square area around and there's not much that I could have done with that because I could just create the padding more or less. Okay, so I have this in here, but there's an important other feature that if I right click on here, um, I have the normal features that work on vector art. But what I suggest you do is you can be on the move tool and double click or on the node tool. It doesn't matter. I'm going to go node tool. If I double click inside here, you're going to see that it gives me the ability to have a curse over here that I can start typing in. But if I want to select the text, I can't actually select text. Say I wanted to make this first part capitals. I, I don't have the ability to do that. So to activate that full edit ability, you right click and it says expand fields okay so when you go expand fields it changes it into editable text so now if i go in i can go there i can say let's make that text a little bit bigger make it bold whatever okay so now i have the ability to go in and edit all of this text i also then have the ability to go in and add more text so this becomes now a flexible structure the kerning, the sizing, all of the stuff that are relevant to text editing are available here. So if I go here and I want to uh, write a line, that paragraph, or I want to put in bullet points, whatever, everything that works with text works in this area. The benefit is that if I go to the node tool, I can drop in a node here. Let me just make this a sharp node. And I can take it out there, maybe make another one up there. So I have total flexibility of how I want this text to move in here. Now hopefully you can see how beneficial this is rather to have this, because this is your designing program. Um, you are more going to be interested in making the text go in nice shapes and everything, rather than worrying about just having it wrap around a single object. Okay, so uh, hopefully we've, we've sold in that idea. Um, of the benefits that we have in working it this way. Um, another quick way of getting to create a text box for yourself um, would be, I'm going to delete that, is just to take the, what I refer to as parametric shapes. You literally can go in there um, and I see there, I'm going to just make it all transparent. So we have that shape and then I'm going to draw a circle around here. Keep the shift so I can constrain it. So I want the text to be, you know, maybe wrapped around this edge. So without me having to draw all of that in, I can come to the layers here. There's the rectangle. I just select both. As I said, try not to have the colors filled in or any line. Just make them all transparent. So I've got these two and then I go use the Boolean here to subtract. And there we have it. Okay. So there I have a nice curve there. 
and now all I do again is go across text frame click and then just right click and insert filler text and there we have it okay if you wanted to do the the other side you pretty much can do the same thing over there but now you have the ability to move it over here and edit it as you want to say you decided that's how you're going to do it you now can move the text let's move the handles up okay so you can see why this is powerful you don't have to have this shape being totally perfect because when you click off it you you know have that area and then you can go and click your text so again remember if you click um, if you can't select an area you right click expand the field and then you click again and there you have your your individual things that you can edit and move around okay so I think that creates a, a better workflow when you are working with a shape that you have total flexibility over the main thing is just once you've dropped the text in don't forget to right click and me I keep forgetting the term that's used uh, let me go in here uh, to move it that far back expand field okay so don't forget to expand field else you'll be struggling with it because if you don't expand field and you double click you're going to be changing the entire lot together because it, it works almost as one group as soon as you go and you expand the field you literally can then do individual edits as you need to okay let me just think is there anything else that I have uh, maybe overlooked oh there's there are tutorials when you write on curves and all that sort of stuff so um, I think those ones are different to what we're talking about yeah so you know try and work with this create your shapes um, have your text totally um, in your hand as to how the text is going to go in an object and try to not think down the road of text wrapping around objects think of it the other way around and I think it will give you a lot of more creative ability to manipulate things as we go along so hopefully that's helped and uh, it gets you to work much faster and your workflow becomes much more improved have a fantastic day and god bless